Hi people, Marina Raven back here again as always and as usual. Um, I'm briefly going to discuss something or put it out there. As far as I know, I haven't done so already. You can tell from the header of the video that I'm simply going to come right out and say it, which is that um, in short, your magical... I'm also going to elaborate, obviously. In short, your magical um, proficiency as an occultist will determine your workings literally as well as figuratively speaking um, what do i mean by that some of you might ask simply put i simply mean that how skilled you are as an occultist or a magician will determine the effectiveness of your rituals in terms of results that's the end result of course i mean that's the end game results those are the most that's the most important thing that you attain result or results that you desire um, in everything you do to lead up to that uh, again result to lead up to that point uh, which are results or which is results. Uh, but I mean everything that comes before it. The way a ritual goes in the way of things you have noticed. The energetic the energetic um, upflow, if you will, or just a plain flow of energy. Uh, other things that can be labeled as side effects. Things you have seen. Uh, ways of energy. Everything, okay? If you work with spirits, the way that you view your spirits, as in the way they appear to you their astral appearances or physical appearances whichever way you want to label it their general appearance the way they convey and or show themselves to you um all of that all of that is determined by how skilled you are as a magician that's why if you develop um as the years go by or as time goes by uh, and you do a comparison you'll notice the, a difference in everything i've uh, all the aforementioned and everything I've said, the way that the spirits that you work with appear, they will appear more vividly, they will appear um, either more vividly or less vividly in a specific way. Uh, generally speaking, that will be the case because they vibrate at a higher frequency than you're seeing them closer to their purest form. It just goes on and on and on, okay? Uh, during rituals, you'll notice um, that the energetic buildup is higher. You'll notice this, you'll notice that, you name it, a bunch of things. You'll notice a bunch of things that will lead up to results in a beneficial way, of course. That just means that you're progressing, you're becoming stronger. Base rule is, in terms of results, what you want to accomplish all depends on your skill level. The same way that uh, someone of a low skill level doesn't have to expect the same in terms of results compared to someone that is more skilled then yeah, for example, me versus a beginner. Yeah, obviously there's going to be a mountain, hypothetically and literally speaking, or mountains in terms of difference uh, in everything that I said that leads up to the end game, which are results. Uh, everything will be better. But yeah, that has to do with your skill level as a magician. So all of that matters. If you develop and you become better and faster and stronger as a magician, you learn how to manage and... and um, and you learn how to generate and manage energy better overall, then you'll notice as well, regardless of what magical practice you are engaged or embroiled in, so what kind of magic you practice, regardless of what you do in that department, when you become better and more experienced, you'll automatically notice that things will go better for you. Um, primarily results will be better, like I said, as well as all the other stuff that leads up to it. And that is all. Bye.